What's up, manga fans? And this is C Manga's top five strongest anime characters. Now, we're not going to be focusing on the mainstream or the big three, but these are just, you know, small little mangas that you guys might not know about, and we wanted to go and check them out because they're really fun to read. Now, this is Chris. This is Reese. This is Raphael. And we're, we're your host for this particular video, um, so we're going to get straight into it. All right, guys, so the way this is going to work is that each of us have picked our own nominee and they're going to go up against each other. And then from those three, we're going to pick the strongest one. All right, guys, so in case you don't know anything about any of the characters we've stated, we're going to post um, a link to their Wikipedia page and it should have um, history of their character and all their powers. So you can read for yourself and check if you think um, who won was right or not. So, yeah. And guys, if you don't agree with our list, you know what I mean? Feel free to post your top five list in the comments below. So in block five, we have... Brad Burns from Green Blood. Harumi Murasaki from X-Blade. And Lucy from Elfin Lead. And the winner is... Lucy. Lucy is a Declonius. She's very disturbed and very sadistic. She enjoys ripping her opponents apart with her vectors, which are invisible arms that can shield her from bullets as well as throw projectiles. And that's why she's our number five pick. And in block four, we have... Killua, Hunter x Hunter. Jin Kazaragi from Area D. Valsa Stampede from Trigon. And the winner is Killua from Hunter x Hunter. So yeah, this kid is frigging crazy. You know, he's what, 12? He's like, he started off in the series at 12. Now he's 14. Professional assassin. You know, he don't. He won't hesitate to kill you. Come on, it's like... In the first time we proper saw him do anything, he ripped out a guy's heart. You know... Uh, he's got transmutation then um, enabling him to like, create lightning so you know he's got his like, little kind of Chidori stuff and he can wrap himself in the lightning to use godspeed you know pretty much like Raikage so what else can't, what can't you love in block 3 we have Chung Wu Hang from the breaker Kenichi from history's strongest disciple Kenichi Guts from Berserk and the winner is Guts Guts is my number three pick because he's just too awesome. Guts was born on the battlefield and he's been fighting his entire life. He took on a hundred men by himself and he actually won. And not to mention this guy's currently fighting demons and gods right now. He's just that cool. I mean, yes, his giant sword called a dragon slayer can cut through almost anything. Guts even lost his arm, but he didn't let that stop him. He actually got a, um, a prosthetic arm now that's like a cannon attached to it. That's awesome. I mean, Guts is just too cool for words and you should definitely check out Berserk because he's an awesome character. In block two, we have... Tao Ren, Shaman King. Birdie from Birdie the Mighty Decode. And Edward Eric from Full Metal Alchemist. And the winner is... Edward Eric from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, I'm guessing a lot of people must know who this guy is. If you don't know, well, you should know that this guy is practically a genius um, alchemist. He Not only that, he's actually um, a very adept martial artist. He... Um, including the fact that he has a still right arm and left leg that obviously deals much more damage than a normal human can do. Um, also to notice is that he can um, do transmutation without having to form a circle and he can also use his surroundings to um, supplement his body to make him stronger and also transmutate weapons and surrounding um, objects as well into his will so you know this guy is pretty much all the all deal man this guy can do quite a lot of his alchemy and that's only kind of the icing on the cake of this guy we could go a lot further into it but just leave it at that this guy's quite good at what he does in block one we have asura area d show fukumachi from the gaiba and saitama from one punch man and the winner is Saitama for One Punch Man. So, guys, this guy, I think we worth the chipping for this. <laughs> Definitely. This was basically a unanimous decision. Yeah, I can't Definitely. Talk. Definitely. Um, unanimous decision because um, so far, this guy hasn't broken a sweat fighting anyone. This is exactly as he says. He, he literally defeats everything in one punch or one kick. Seriously, <laughs> man. This, uh... Or one look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy, man. Um, Kai, what was the? I think well, the last thing he did recently was when he punched straight through a me meteor. 
Was it a meteorite? Yeah, it was a, it was it's a, a meteor headed to Earth to completely yeah. devastate the city, and he actually just stopped. I mean, what was hilarious was that there was other heroes in the city trying to stop it, but they were all powerless. But he comes in the nick of time, just oblivious to the situation, and just saves everyone's lives by even caring. And um, there's quite a bit of speculation people are seeming to think. Even the well, you can't really take the Wikipedia's word for it because it's a Wikipedia, but they keep saying that ah. Oh, this might not even be his, you know, his full power. Like, this just might be the bottom layer of his power because the fact that he's only trying now, maybe he's holding back. Like, what if we do finally meet someone now that he unleashes his full power on? Because he hasn't gotten so much as a scratch, a cut or anything, if you count burns as something, though, but... It's, um, it's crazy, man. It's it, like, is, it is, it <laughs> is. He's basically invincible at this point. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's like, no matter what the hell it is, he just takes out in one punch. I think it'd be the most powerful thing in the universe. It's just like, okay, bang, dead. And it's like, it's not just like a normal, okay, it's defeated. I'm talking literally the thing's exploding <laughs> at one punch. Yeah. <laughs> the thing explodes. <laughs> I mean, giants, mutants, uh, monster crustaceans, monster animals. I mean... Aliens, nothing really um, measures up to him. I mean, he's literally the strongest anime manga characters so far that we know of. That's why he's your number one pick. And you guys should definitely go out and check out One Punch Man, the manga, because it's really amazing. It's a gag manga, but it has the art style of a seni slash shonen. So, I mean, you guys would love the shit out of that. So definitely give give it a shot, man. You, you, won't, you won't be disappointed, trust me. So remember, guys... Like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to leave your top five picks for strongest anime characters. So just a recap of all the winners: we have Lucy from Block Five, Killua from Block Four, Guts from Block Three, Edward Eric from Block Two, and Saitama one from One Punch Man in Block One. All right, um, and a final thank you to Ray Petrie for suggesting this little video um, of the top five strongest anime manga characters um so on that note if anyone else has any ideas just leave a comment or suggestion of what you want us to do next any top five um categories of any anime or mangas all right guys so there you have it um you know the usual guys if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up really helps the series and don't forget to check out the channel for more so we will see you soon